But wouldn't it be cool if the game knew that you'd finished every stage in the game? Send it. Let's go. Let's fucking go. I'm really nervous that at the end of this I'm going to run the script and it's not going to say finished. Yeah, even for the ones that I'm not online on, it'll be saved to the file. And I've done... If I've not done it all online... Uh, uh, sorry, if I've not done it all on this computer, which I haven't, I don't believe... Pretty sure I did some on my laptop. But it's, it's pre the group stages, but I know I've got everything from bonus, so it must have... Uh, gone through. I should have all the stages. If I don't have all the stages, I actually have to go and check the uh, speedrun speedrun.com run to check that I didn't skip a stage. Well, yeah, to check that I didn't skip a stage there and it's just actually not loaded into the file. I should have all the stages, but that's that's the should. That is indeed the should. It's the benefit of documenting everything as well, with recording it all. I can go back and I can see the fuck up I made.
We should be good. I mean, I did Germany twice in Group S. You know, for the fun of it. Oh no, Group A. Fucking hell. It was only two, oh, it was two days ago. Or was it yesterday? It's not even been yesterday. No, I did Japan. No, Germany I did this morning. Yeah, Group S then. Fuck, it all blends into one. I've been doing that many stages each day. Recently. Which I have to half blame and half thank you for, Felix. Because uh, if you hadn't posted... If you hadn't started making that uh, script... I probably would still just be grinding at a very steady rate of like fuck all and then a few a bit of a break when I get bored and whereas having the because I was kind there was kind of a thing in the back of my head of I have to make the script before I finish to check and how the fuck am I going to do that my script most likely would have been literally just to count the times remove all the dailies and count the number of times and that would have been it but I wouldn't have had a clue where to start with the like matrixing it out and getting all that shit done The fact that it is a text file is amazing because when I first when I first thought of the idea I thought fuck and we have to actually check each and every stage. I mean I started doing this ages ago. I had uh, group 2 Finland done quite a while ago but then I just stopped after that. Because it, it was kind of a how the hell am I going to check all of these. That was way before Australia. That might have been before Indonesia came out, even. Wrong side of rock.
time is going a lot slower now, for some reason. Feels like way more than 15 minutes since I started this run. But oh well.
So what do I do after I finish all of this? Do I just like, at Dune, I finished all of your game, lol? What now? Yeah. Have you finished all of Absolute Drift? <laughs> if yes, here's Golden Lap. If no, go get Absolute Drift. I have barely finished three stages of Absolute Drift. Yeah, that game is hard, and I got it on mobile. And I'm bad at it. It's pretty good, unless you, unless you think you'll uh, you'll actually like to go and try and set high scores for drifts and stuff. I'd probably get it as a mobile game. I enjoy it as a mobile game because I can play a couple of minutes of it. AOR just doesn't work as a mobile game in my head because I want to go for high scores and fast times and stuff. So to me, AOR doesn't work as a mobile game. It would work as a Switch game. Where, like, I could sit down or I could just boot up a... You know, on the train, just boot up a couple of track custom rally. Next up is beating the entirety of World Spawn. That'll never happen. Two things are certain in life. One of them is that someone will make Doom run on whatever computer you have available. The other one is that you'll never, ever manage to run out of content on id games. Doom is my genuine answer for you can only play one game for the rest of your life. I'm going to argue that Doom and Doom 2 are the same game. And that Doom 2 is an expansion for Doom 1. But if I can't, I think I'd go with Doom 2. Um, yeah. You'll just literally never run out of content in those games. And future proof wise, you can guarantee that the game will run on any computer in the future. Someone will make it run. Oh, I haven't finished Doom. I haven't finished episode 4. I finished episode 1, 2 and 3 of original Doom. I haven't finished Doom 2. Still enjoy the game. Play the Iron Man speedruns every month. Need to get on that this month actually once I've done this. Someone will compile it. And also, if my if the only game I play like I could play was Doom, I would absolutely learn how 
the code works pro like properly and because I can compile Doom, but I don't understand. I wouldn't understand how to start making changes to it. But if it was the only game I could play, I'd probably start being part of the community that mods the game and um, that uh, makes it work on any any system. And at the same time, if Doom was the only game I could play, I'd probably get rid of this computer and just get a little laptop. The whole of the Doom source code is available, the whole of Quake's source code is available, the whole of... Uh, yeah. I think Rage is available. Maybe not. Yeah, Doom's source code. And this, is, this is my argument for Doom and Doom 2 are the same game. Uh... Coming from a time where each game has its own engine, you can play Doom 1 on Doom 2. Fast inverse square roots, Quake 3, isn't it? Or Quake 1? Binary space petitioning is probably the most genius thing ever devised. I don't think it's Doom, it's lighting engine and Doom's lighting engine is fuck all. I think it's Quake that is definitely. I'm pretty. I'm like 90% certain it's Quake. I think it might be 3. We talk about the fast inverse square root. I'm not actually entirely sure what a, an inverse square root is. All I know is that computers are bad at them and that that's a hack to get a rough approximation of a square root, of an inverse square root. Compile it yourself. I've compiled that function myself many, many times. Never, well, I suppose I've seen it working. I've never seen it working in terms of standalone, as a like as a calculator. It is very cool. There is a reason that John Carmack has moved on consistently to the absolute pinnacle and forefront of technology, and why he is now at Oculus. One smart cookie. Yeah. All forward stages will be done after this one. Technically, all stages in all vehicles will be done after this one. We're getting there.
Here's a question. What car in Art of Rally is shaped most like a face? Because I watched a video from Two Clicks Philip earlier today about him putting faces in armour where you literally just had to upload a PNG with the front of a face, the back of a face, and as long as they were roughly like at the side of your head, and as long as they were roughly the right size, the game would be able to map it pretty well to uh, a custom to to a model. Well. What Art of Rally car looks the most like a face that we could just, like, take a picture of someone's face? Stick the top of their head on the top of the car, the side of their head on the sides of the car. And just go ramping round rally stages. Yeah, King, I was thinking the Kingpin would be pretty good. It's got the bit where you could put the nose as well at the top. Because that that appears to be the key thing because he was messing around with putting things in the wrong place and the key thing that it seems like is if the bump for the nose on the model isn't where the, where the nose actually is then it, it kind of messes up quite quickly obviously then yeah you know layering up if you put somebody without a beard next to somebody with a, with a beard uh, yeah the front picture is someone without a beard and then the side they have a beard it's going to look a bit weird or they'll just look like Mungo Jerry. In the summertime with the weather. It's a, not a great song. <laughs> Sounds so good. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a, bit of a bit of a... Wait, this is the last fucking track. I'm just, this is how, like, whatever this whole thing has just become. You just You just go to the next track, don't you? This is it. This is the final one. And after this I get to do it all backwards. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Don't I'm not doing it. Not doing it. Not happening. You are witnessing history being made. I am definitely the second. Possibly even more. Undocumented. First person to do it and upload it to speedrun.com though. Once I've got round to the backlog of videos that I have that are more than 10 videos, I mean it's going to take me more than a day to upload them. But uh, yeah, I'll get them uploading tonight. Get get 10 uploaded tonight and then 10 uploaded tomorrow night and then they should be done. I don't think there's 20. There shouldn't be 20. I don't think. Maybe there is actually, because I don't. I've not uploaded any Group A, so there might be 20. I don't think. Uh, it should be only two days, maybe three. Then I gotta go take all the pictures. Here it is, the final stage across the line in a beautiful car. Boom. Not quite sub 31 on the, on the run, but that's fine. Doesn't massively matter. Next. 66% stage wins. Lovely. That's my number. And there it is. It's all done. Cheers, Turbo.